Hey, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. My name is Robert and this is Pheasant Lane Farm. As you can see, we've had a lot of rain, but we're gonna go haul some more stone today with the Super Duty and the Diamond Seed Dump Trailer. About 120 feet down there, there is a 30 by 30 pad uh, we're putting in uh, with limestone and then we'll backfill it. That's where our two loafing sheds are going to go that we bought for the kiddo. One's going to have goats in it and storage, and then the other one's going to have her two mini horses. With lumber as crazy as it is right now, I just can't see building a pole barn. I think something's got to happen sooner or later, and I'm just going to wait around and see what happens. Uh, and it'd be nice to pay cash for a pole barn, but uh, lumber's going to have to go way down for that to happen. So it depends who you talk to. A lot of people say it's going to go down, and a lot of people say it will never go down. So this will get us by for now, but dad's just pulling in the driveway and we're gonna go haul some more stone. But first, I gotta drop off a load of firewood. A uh, good buddy of mine, I used to work with him. Uh, he's kind of like a father figure to me. Uh, he owns a body shop. He's gonna do some work on the Super No Booty and uh, we decided to kind of trade some firewood for that. I had some firewood that I bought last year before I got hurt. So with the help of the new to us firewood elevator, I uh, bought a couple weeks ago, have him done a video on that, I'm kind of behind right now. Uh, we loaded up the dump trailer last night, so we're gonna run about 30 miles, drop off this load of firewood to him, and then dad and I are gonna start hauling stone. I'd like to get five or six loads in here today, and then dad needs a load at his house uh, where the culvert kind of washed out. So we are staying busy, but thanks for watching, and let's go haul some stone. <laughs> Sure doesn't look like a lot, but that's 5.48 US tons of stone. 304 limestone. Only about 15 more loads, I reckon.
Well, this behind me is load number five. We hauled four loads to our house. Luckily, the quarry is only about three miles away. Um, I think the total for today, for what we took to our place, was uh, 21 tons, so a little over 42,000 pounds. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I can add that right here. This load is a different stone. We hauled 304 limestone to our house. It's some bigger chunks mixed all the way down with the fines. It packs really well, and that's what we need to put in that driveway. This load came to dad's house. Uh, they put a new culvert in, and so it's kind of a, a drastic uprise to the road. So I told him I'd bring a load over here of a little bit smaller stone, and I'll show you that in a moment. But the big thing, I get a lot of guys saying, why did you buy a trailer with 24 or 26 inch sidewalls when you could have bought 48 or 36 inch sidewalls and you could hold a lot more stone and dirt just because the box holds it doesn't mean the axles are so let me show you what five ton or 10,000 pounds actually looks like in a 14 foot dump trailer so i know the camera's kind of looking down right now but if you look head on the highest point of that pile of stone right there is even with the sidewalls so 24 26 inches I don't remember exactly so I want to talk real quick about numbers now in my hand are this cat scale sheets from when I bought this trailer uh, I ran the truck and trailer over the scale together and then I dropped the trailer on the scale one time when they were a little slow uh, I just want to get exact numbers so I know so this trailer, the weight rating on this trailer is 14,900 pounds. That is the trailer and the load. That's what I'm legal to haul in this trailer. Now, don't get me wrong, there's guys that really overload these trailers. I've accidentally done that once. Uh, I told the, own, the loader operator that I needed uh, five ton of topsoil. He asked me, well, that's a nice trailer. What's it rated at? I said 14.9. Load seemed pretty heavy. They didn't give me a printout. Uh, the guy just had a, a, uh, a scale on his loader. Got home. The trailer dumped it, but it wasn't happy about it. Uh, I went back to him and he said, hey man, I'm sorry. He goes, I got the numbers mixed up in my head. I gave you seven ton instead of five. So I've had 14,000 in the box of this trailer. Um, topsoil, wet topsoil, uh, sometimes looks like even a less amount than what the stone does. But in any, in any uh, fact, the trailer is rated for 14900 Now, a truck is always going to have a sticker in the door or in the owner's manual that's going to tell you what that's rated for. My truck is a 2015 F-250. Now, long bed versus short bed makes a difference in the weight rating. Um, Four-wheel drive makes a little bit of a difference. Engine makes a big impact. So, my truck is set up as a 2015 F-250 with a 6.7 power stroke four-wheel drive four-door long bed my truck says inside that the combined gross vehicle weight rating or uh gross combined however you want to say that so my truck trailer load fuel gear everything is not to exceed 23,500 pounds fun fact in 2015 according to my owner's manual uh, if you would have bought the same truck that I have, only in an F-350, a one ton instead of a three quarter ton, with the 6.7, the long bed, the four wheel drive, uh, gear ratio, the uh, weight rating was also 23,500 pounds. So, I keep these cat scale sheets in the glove box of my truck, uh, just because they come in handy. So, real quick, let's go over some numbers. My truck as it sits now with the flatbed toolbox, the crap I have in the toolbox, and a loaded fuel tank um, with me in it weighs 9,020 pounds. This trailer empty on a scale, the way it's outfitted as you see it now, uh, I might have thrown some extra tarp straps and stuff in the toolbox, but nothing's really gonna drastically change on that, was 4,020 pounds, totaling 13,240 pounds. So, if you take the 23,500 that I am legally allowed to have truck, trailer, load, all the other crap in it, I can haul 10,260 pounds worth of payload in this trailer. Now, this trailer has 
two 7,000 pound axles underneath of it. Uh, so sure, you could put probably another, you could easily fit another five ton of stone in this trailer. Now, you'd probably blow your tires and you'd snap your axles. Here's the big kicker. I see a lot of guys out there that have one ton trucks buying uh, gooseneck dump trailers that are 18 foot long, tandem axle, dual wheel axles on these trailers and trying to put a whole bunch of dirt in them. Just because the trailer might have a, uh, a weight rating of 22, 24, 26,000 pounds, say even 20,000 pounds, more than likely you're gonna be over the weight rating of the pickup truck. It's not always if the truck will pull it, it's if it will stop it. There's some Facebook groups. I've seen some guys get busted for severely overloaded trailers, uh, pulling them with an F-250 or F-350 when in all actuality, they should probably be pulling that trailer with at least a 550 or like a 650 sport chassis, something like that. So I just wanted to take a moment uh, when I was researching trailers, sorry, I got a dirty face, just noticed it. When I was researching trailers, I didn't really see um, what it actually a max payload in one of these dump trailers looks like. So there it is, five ton, five ton and a 14 foot dump trailer. Now comes almost all the way to the end. The guys that I buy the stone from, it's a huge quarry. It's state certified for stone, all the testing and uh, certifications they need. I don't have a CB to talk to these guys. I probably should get one um, and uh, sneak peek. I actually ordered one this morning, so there's one coming. I know I'm gonna keep going down there to talk to these guys uh, because all the projects we got going on in a 900 foot driveway, there's always gonna be a need for stone. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later and uh, be safe, have fun, and uh, don't overload your dump trailer.